So you're anxious to create an actual pivot table, huh? Well, Excel 2013 provides a creation tool so we can get instant gratification. If you're not using 2013, this will kind of act as a preview of what a finished pivot table can look like using almost any of the other tools that we have. And there are some other methods to creating them, so don't worry. The data analysis tool, though, that's available in Excel 2013 is designed to make analyzing data in Excel easier. It actually can do several things. It can do formatting, it can do charts, it can work with basic calculations and even add spark lines. But in our case, it allows us to preview different types of pivot tables that Excel can create using entries in the data table that we've already selected. Now, yes, all of these things are options that are available from the ribbon and using keyboard shortcuts and other methods in Excel. This is just designed to make them faster and easier to find and implement. So we're currently working in a file called Pivot Tables Getting Started that can be found in the Chapter 2 Working Files folder. The very first thing that we want to do is select our data. Now we could do that in a variety of ways. We could click and drag, we could do click, shift, click. This happens to be a named range though. So what I'm going to do is move to the name box on the left hand side of the screen, click on the drop down, and select our range which happens to be called sales data. Now we can see that this is actually cell A1 all the way over and down through K51. There are a total of 50 records here. What we want to do though is be able to see the bottom right edge of this selection. Doesn't matter how we make the selection, but once we do, you'll notice on the bottom right corner, there's a small tag. Now this is not a smart tag that you might've gotten used to. This is actually that quick analysis tool. If we give it a click or a tap, it brings up options, including formatting, charts, totals, tables, and spark lines. We of course are interested in tables, so we will give that a click or a tap. And now we can see some options. We can have Excel work with a just plain old data table, but we are interested in pivot tables, and that's where these other previews come into play. As we hover over each of these, just above this little tool, we get to see the samples. So looking at our data, Excel says, well, we might want to be able to look at those by region. And within the region, we might want to look at a sum of order total. The next one is also organizing by region, but this time it's a sum of commission. The third one gets a little bit more complex. Now it's moving to looking at the types of plans or accounts that we have, like corporate, government, and private. And it's giving us several different calculations, sum of commission, sum of orders, and even a sum of turn time. The next to the last one, is looking at yet a different way of categorizing this data using the sales reps, Beth, John, Mark, and Susan, and a sum of their order totals. And if those aren't enough choices, we could always go to the end and click on more to see more options. I'm thinking that we might like this next to the last one, the one that is showing us the sales reps, as well as their order totals and summing those up. All we have to do is give that a click or a tap, and Excel creates the pivot table, puts it in its own worksheet ahead of the worksheet we had selected. And we are now looking at the actual pivot table that's pretty dang close to what we saw in the preview. Each of our sales reps is listed, Beth, John, Mark, and Susan, and a sum of all of their orders. So those 50 records that we have have now been summarized into the four sales reps and their totals. So one of the most impressive things I think about the quick analysis tool is that it's not just static. It's not just a cookie cutter thing that says pick an option. It actually is context sensitive and the options that it provides are actually based on the actual data that we have. So it not only helps to kind of speed things up, it actually can assist us, especially when we're first getting used to working with pivot tables by really deciding what options it thinks are best and presenting them for us. All we have to do is simply click on an option then, and we don't have to make any other decisions. I just think creating pivot tables with a quick analysis tool is a great way to see what pivot tables can do, as well as maybe some options for your data that you may not have thought of before. So whether it's simple and you have never done this before and you don't really know where you're going, or you're an experienced pivot table creator, but you just want to do it fast, think of creating pivot tables using the quick analysis tool.